Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> mm, okay, let's get serious, guys. Let's get serious, okay? Hope you guys are doing well. I hope all is well. The sun is out. There's a lot going on. You know, summer's around the corner. Hopefully, you know, we'll have a good one this year. Fingers crossed. Right. As you guys can see in my title, today we're going to discuss how to start your investment collection or how to start a really good collection. I would say investment collection because I don't look at my bag pieces as just buying a bag. I look at it like I'm investing in myself and in my bag. So if worse comes to worse, God forbid, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, darling. Um, if something is to happen, I am able to then say, okay, well, I can do this. I can resell. I can rehome. And I can do what I need, what needs doing. Um, I mean, I think we're all up to par with how things are when it comes to um, accessories, designer handbags and stuff. Um do's and don'ts and stuff like that so for me it's quite straightforward as to for me i know exactly like moving forward for me i just want to get investment pieces pieces that i know that you know i can keep they're iconic um i can make use of i can get rid of if needs be you know if i want to switch up my closet i would still get a good amount it's kind of like down payment for a car you're gonna get a good car the more down payment you put in the lesser payments you have at the end of your loan period the car is yours if you take care of the car you keep your services you keep your mileage low you could resell the car when you resell the car there's a chance of you getting a really good price for the car now that money you can reinvest it into a new car that's lower payments a higher value car and keep the ball rolling now this is not about cars so let's not confuse things here this is about how to build your investment collection from scratch so first thing first let's get it so those of you grab a drink get your paper out get your notepad out because i'm going to run through this really quick mistake i ain't got the time girl time is money Okay, first of all, time is money. So let's get right into it. First thing first, budget. Everyone needs to have a budget in everything that you do. So you're going to start your investment collection. First thing first you want to do, you want to have a really good budget. Put aside either yearly or quarterly or every six months. Put yourself a little budget aside that you can have. say, okay, this is my budget. This is what I'm going to work with. And this is what I'm going to use towards my bags. Yeah, for my investment pieces know their value step number two know their values the reason what i mean what i'm going to say know their value meaning to say you have to do a little research as to for example if you get a lady dior um what color should i get what color sells more what colors are harder to get but it's still you know iconic um stuff like that what are their resale values for so you go to verse verse versile versatile for self, forgive me. I am horrible at names. <laughs> but hey, I was not their godmother, okay? So you go to these resale websites and see what they sell it for, you know, versus what you buy it for in store. You want to do your little research. Maybe call up one of two places that buy in bags. See how much they will buy it in for, you know? If you have a bag for two to three to four years and you want to sell it, and you get at least half of what you spend with it. I look at it as you break even because you've had used the bag for about two years, you know. Get stuff, step number three, get stuff you can use. Don't buy pieces that you're just going to put in a closet and leave it sit there. Get stuff that you can use, have fun with it, take it with you everywhere, go everywhere with it, use it as much as you can. Versus getting stuff that you can't really use because at the end of the day, you're going to end up 
just not enjoying the bag. Um, there's this one lady that I follow on Instagram named Renata Barros. She is amazing. Like, I live for her. She would go to her meds today. Like, hoy. Today. Awe. You know, like, vadach. And she would buy a Birkin, a Kelly, whatever. You name it. She scores her bag. She walks out of her Hermes with her piece. The next morning, guarantee you, she uses it on site. Now, I don't know if it's because she has a massive collection, she does this. But I love it because it just shows like, yo, as much as it's an investment piece, as much as you're getting pieces that, you know, you want to invest in and have good pieces, use them. Get stuff that you can use. So shout out to Renata for that because she definitely showed me that like I used to buy it and still put it up like okay I'm gonna wait on this special occasion day or no my next out in I'm trying to plan and I'm trying to get outfits to match it and stuff like that. Like that was way in the beginning for me and I still used to do it until I came across her page. So now for me I'm just waiting for it. Like as I get something the next day I'm gonna use it. I'm sorry. And yeah, that's where that come in. So, I mean, what is there not to, you know, save something for another, like, special occasion? What is there not to use it? Like, use your pieces. As I said, step number three, get stuff you can use. Step number four, care. It's very important for you to care and look after your items. Now, I didn't say baby it. There's a difference between babying and caring. Like, I see some people on Instagram, they baby every single thing that they buy. Like, sis, I got the time, bro. I have bags that have gum. I have bags that have dirt, hair, weave, glitter, nail dust, um, name it. Like, I, my ex-partner, he could tell you, when I first got my Birkin, I remember I opened the apple juice and I did not close the apple juice properly. And it literally fell all over in the, in the bag. Splash all over the bag. I was shocked. I pulled aside. We had tissues in the car. And thank God, we were drying up the bag. And I'm like, what the hell was that about? Like, I have, I'm very, very clumsy. So when it comes to care... I am not the best. However, I am the queen of taking my stuff to spa. So any of my S's could tell you like I always come in and get a spa or send my stuff off to get clean, scratch, repaired, name it. I am the queen of that because I ain't got the time to be sitting out here, baby, in any kind of bags, my stink. Cause girl, it is not the one. Let me lubricate, honey. Cause today is the day. Shout out to Big Ready Rude Boy today for our punch, as per usual. And yeah, like for me personally, I just feel like I can't, baby. But care is important. Why? Because if you're gonna resell it, or if you wanna, let's say, out with one and in with the new. You're going to want it to be in a pristine or immaculate condition. So therefore, um, you need to look after them. And the reason you need to look after them is because, as I said, if you want to pass it on, as I mentioned earlier, comparing the car situation, it's kind of like the same with everything that you own, really. It's not only your bags. Like, you want to make sure you want to look after it. So those are things that I find that are... um you know are important yeah now resale resale can be very tricky and the thing about it is once you take your time and do your research and know what you're doing and how you're doing it you can actually achieve a good sale and get it done properly or you know once you put effort into trying to get it resell like i have resold stuff via selling to businesses or selling to people that usually buy in stuff so these companies that are out there um that buy bags in and resell bags and you know they run a whole second market stuff um i have sold to a couple of those places before um and they obviously would offer you different like it kind of irks your soul when you sit there and sell an item for like maybe three thousand and you see them sell it for seven and get a sale on it they made four grand profit off of your item but realistically, you would have never gotten that item if you have posted it yourself to sell. Even if you were selling it maybe £2,000 cheaper. Because I think it's just consumer 
thoughts or way people think they feel safer buying from this company because if something goes wrong they can take it back to the company versus if something goes wrong with you it's a tag of war so yeah as i said if you do your research and you kind of put the effort into knowing how you want to resell your stuff in order to buy new stuff or if you have a situation that presents itself like i have had situations oh my god i have had situations present itself and i have no shame in telling you guys today that i've actually had to pawn my bags like i have actually had to go to a pawn shop three handbags pawn it get the money i needed to resolve a very 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 important situation that i had to resolve resolved it and after i resolved it i literally went and picked up my bags like within the next month because i was like really 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 in a really bad situation and place at the time so with that being said it's very important to know their value and know that these things can actually work for you so it's not a matter of saying oh like some people will be like oh um what's the purpose of even buying a bag and then for you to be broke and for you to actually end up on girl it is a life shits happen like stop acting like shit don't happen out here i mean it's not like it happens to everybody all the time but shit do happen i know people that are that were millionaires fucking go bankrupt the next year so fuck out of here like just cut the crap okay let's just be realistic let's just keep it real that's all about my channel my channel is about just me being pure and real with you guys sharing my love for bags and stuff with you guys and just being straightforward with you guys because at the end of the day you guys need to understand this is how you build your investment collection you need to build it you know, investment collection it's a little bit you know that one area in your wardrobe where you just have pieces that you know that boom yeah i'm good you know, um, investment pieces could also be pieces that you invest in that you would have for a lifetime. So let's say, for example, a Louis Vuitton luggage set, you know, that is something that you can invest in and you could travel. Like, or if you're not a frequent flyer, then you have it for longer shelf life. If you're a frequent flyer like myself, then yeah, that, you know, she's going to be scratched up. She's going to look banged out after well, two to three years, but she's still pushing, honey. She is still pushing me, saying, okay, are you still traveling in style, girl? So with that being said, I mean, what is not to, what is not, what is not to worry about? What is not to make that effort, you know? And I wanted to say as well, it's not always about the resale aspect of things. It's not always like you have to put in your mind, like, okay, no, I only want to buy bags that I can resell. No, it's not about the resale part of things. Not everything you want to resell. You don't want to have that. I know some people, they have that, oh, I buy to use, and when I get tired of it, I want to reset. Nah, I mean, at the end of the day, to each their own. No offense to those people that does that. Kudos to you. Hats off. But I don't really feel like I want you guys, the message I want to, the message I want to leave you guys with today, or what I want to share with you guys um, today is not only how to get there, but how to keep it there, but also, you know, be a bit realistic with you guys to share my story with you guys, for you guys to kind of have an insight as to how I build my collection and why I choose to more buy more investment pieces that cost more money, obviously, and to be able to do certain things. So, as I said, it's not always about the resale aspect of things. It's not always about buying to resell. It's about buying to keep. And if a situation presents itself, you know you can. It's just something for you to keep in the back of your head. If worse comes to worse, God forbid. You know, you always wake up and you affirm it and you bless yourself on a daily, a prayer, a day. Keeps the devil away, if you know what I mean. And yeah, another step. Um, you know, what is very important for you to start out with? Like, I get this question a lot when um, friends or clients ask, Oh, so what? I'm, I'm trying to get my first bag. What should I start up with? And I say, you know what? For me personally... When I first started out, I started out with neutral colors. So my first bag was a brown bag. It was a Burberry bag as I did in one of my previous videos. So I started out with neutrals. And I think that would be the wisest thing to do because obviously you don't have many. So when you do dress, you know, you want to be able to, you know, leave that bag work for you. So I would say always start out with neutrals. So like colors like black, nude, beige, you know, gray, um... Yeah, I definitely would say not white. I think white is a color that 
a handbag collector any handbag collector handbag lover out there anyone in the handbag industry in the world of handbags we i think it's every woman's weakness a white handbag it's kind of like to a man their weakness is the fastest porsche or i think every man's weakness is uh what would i say like what 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 every man's weakness is like a like a every man has their dream car you know like this one car that everybody like that would be it like i think every woman and i don't I, for those of you disagreeing with me just say it in the comments below but i believe that every woman's dream is a white bag you see that white bag that cocaine bag like says <laughs> baby that white bag is everything it's every girl's dream but it's just so scary to carry. And I rate these girls that have white bags and carry them around, prints around. So pretty. I have beige, not white, white. And if I do get white, I get it in like a leather that I know that it can be cleaned. Um, Yeah, I get a bit of an off-white. So I've gotten that, but I've gotten that way down in the line where I knew that, okay, yeah, I could actually, I don't have an option to use the white bag at all times. You know, when I bring my white babies out, you know, it's kind of like an occasion only slash now. Let me, let me rock a white bag to pop today, you know. So it's not like something that I will be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, boom, white bag. <laughs> boom, white bag now. So you want to start up with neutrals, black, beige, browns, grays, and build your way up. Black, you can never go back. <laughs> when thing, if you know what I mean. But um, we're talking about bags. So, <laughs> with that being said, um, you know, it's important for you guys to also know this. And, you know, know that that would be the best thing. And before I end this video, I also want to say the most important thing of it all is patience. You know, you will not be able to do, unless, Miss Thing, if you hit the bank, if you hit the bank or you hit the jackpot, you go to the casino and you end up grabbing up a good sum of money and you want or some blessing fall into your lap and you got the cash like that, cha ching ching ching, that bad girl, ri ri. And if you're able to buy your collection overnight then by all means darling go right ahead should i say that in english <laughs> i mean most importantly you guys should take time don't rush yourself a collection like this doesn't be built overnight as some of you guys may know my um story of how i got robbed i did a video on that and how i built about my collection from 2015 to now which is a six-year journey and this is how I got here. So, I mean, patience is a virtue. So having patience and taking your time to build your collection is definitely something you need to do. So I'm going to name some bags out for you guys that I think you guys should actually um, invest in. So I would say, or make part of your, not invest in, but make part of your um. Why am I almond? I'm going to mention some bags to you guys that I think would be great to start your collection with. So, like, these are pieces that you kind of, like, must have slash investment pieces. So, even if you have one already, but getting an in investment version of it would be amazing. So, there's no harm in having both versions. So, I would say a tote. A tote bag. Um, I would say a clutch. A hubo bag, a shoulder bag, a side bag, and a mini bag. So if you could get those six pieces and yeah, have them all together and that would just be amazing. And that way you would have a great set of investment pieces, a great set of pieces to your collection that you could actually admire and have there. As I say, I like to see my money where it is, sitting in my closet. So, yeah. With that being said, with no further ado, thank you guys for tuning in. I want to just spread love, joy, and happiness. 
Hope you guys have a great summer. I hope you guys are enjoying the outdoors, girl, because I am. And yeah, for those of you that are visiting me for the first time, thank you for tuning into my channel. Please connect with me by following me on my Instagram page, Love Her Locks at 700. See you there. And please don't forget to press the subscribe button below. Thank you very much. And until next time. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Basic bitches, that shit so I.